Hello YouTube and welcome back to Truck Driver. I haven't played this game in probably well over a month, maybe even longer than that. And I thought it would be fun to come back to this after, let's see, it's December 2nd, so in about a couple weeks, this game will be three months old. And I thought, what better way to celebrate three months? <laughs> I don't know why it's celebration. But I thought we would come back and see what's changed in the game, if anything. Because you know what my thoughts are on this game from the last time I played it, which it said something about October. I don't know what it was, but this has been a terrible development process for this game. First of all, it should have never been released. Second of all, they should have got a developer that was more in tune into supporting the game and everything like that. And lastly, you're going into a brand new market that has that you have zero competition with. You would think that you put a little bit more effort into this game than what was put into it. There's no reason for this game to be the way it is. Because the fact that there's zero other truck games on the Xbox or the PlayStation, and this is the product you put out, is horrendous. But who knows? Maybe maybe it's a much better game now. Or it's possibly the same game that we played three months ago. <laughs> I mean, it's so disappointing. I was so excited to see that a trucking game was finally getting here. And it turned out to be not so great. So, we'll see how this does. And I forgot how to do anything in this game. So, let's do engine on. Perfect. And we'll just head to... I believe we have a job over here. So, we'll be able to just dive right on into it. Which is lovely. But, yeah. So, we'll just see if anything's changed in almost three months of time. And go from that I noticed the truck is still bobbing up and I hate it I hate that so much it's just so annoying it's like why is the truck doing that do you see what I mean like if you if you look at the the horizon in front of us and we drive at a speed limit it's just it's bobbing up and down for no reason oh my god and this truck still doesn't turn right cuz people told me that the the second row of tires there should be turning as well. I don't know if that's true or not, but I, I I was told by quite a few people that that's what the case was. All right, so let's do a new job here, huh? Next floor, please. I'm not gonna worry about talking to these or going through the thing like I did before. I just want to get to it and so forth. So I guess we are going somewhere else here. But I do know that there was supposed to be an update that came out, or was supposed to come out, uh, like two weeks ago, and that got delayed, and they haven't said anything else. Just, you know, the, another thing that I complained about a month ago, or even no, two months ago now, since October was the last time I played this, is the communication regarding development of this game is so bad. It's, it really is. I, I just don't understand why the developers that took over the game hardly talk about the game. And Sedesco, the publisher, just... I don't know. It's just the whole thing is poorly, poorly developed and poorly communicated. It's just... I'm surprised they even bothered delaying the PC release of this. But, I mean, there's no reason why they wouldn't have... It's just, <laughs> there's no reason to put this on the PC. And I don't think it will ever make it to the PC. If I'm going to be completely honest with you as I readjusted my chair here. I'm not going to be too worried about road laws or anything like that. I just want to get through this mission here and go from that. Weird sound issues going on this time too. See what I mean? Like, what is with the the dipping? It's just so stupid. Oh, it's you know, it's. I'm so disappointed with this game. I was so excited when it came out. I was like, man, finally we got a trucking game on here. It's gonna be great. And then all of a sudden, after the game released, oh, by the way, we have a new development team because we we kicked the other one out because they didn't follow our same 
road plan. And you just found that out after release? I mean, oh my goodness. It's just such a frustrating thing. It really is. Because to me, it seems like this game has changed zero. I mean, it's just, it hasn't changed at all. I still see people on their Twitter complaining about missions not being completed. You know, the challenges and all that stuff. It's just, this is what happens when you rush out a game, you put a new development team on it, and nothing's going to get... Oh, did I miss a turn? When did I do that? Oh, that's a guardrail. Crap, I didn't realize that. But it's just... I don't know why they thought, Oh, this is a perfect game, let's release it. I bet the player count on this game has... dramatically decreased in the last three months or so. Two and a half months, we'll say. I mean, there's just no reason to continue playing this, you know? It's just... Communication sucks. There's hardly any changes coming out, which I'm not going to blame the developers too much on it. That's on Sadesco for even putting this pressure on them to begin with. What they should have done is delay the release of the game, push it to 2020, let the new development team take care of all the issues that the previous developer just couldn't fix, apparently, because their QA team thought this was a perfect game. You know, it's just, it's so frustrating. And they really botched any support for this game just with this release that they put out, you know? Because if another trucking game eventually comes out, made by another developer, and it's much more polished, and has a lot more content to it, this is just going to be tossed in the trash and forgotten. I mean, it's just, it's nowhere near where it needs to be. I don't know what's with the sound glitches now. That's so... Not, I don't remember that being a thing before. It's just... Very, very sad. Oh, look at that. You know, these... I don't know, even know why they put timed missions in. I mean, come on. How stupid is that? Oh, we'll just turn it, turn it into a racing truck simulator, you know? But here, if they want to have timed races, then let's go for it. Because, you know, there's no weight to the trailers, so it's like I'm not even driving with anything behind me, and, you know, let's just go for it. Let's just go full force. Pedal to the metal. Because, you know, it just turns into Need for Speed Truck Edition. <laughs> oh, goodness. Because if you look back at the original videos, I was really excited for it. Because I've been wanting a truck. Yeah, I mean, I have a PC, I have American Truck Sim, I have Euro Truck Sim, and all that stuff. But it would just be nice to have something on the, the console. I was like, oh, truck driver, that's going to be great. And it's far from that. And it doesn't seem like it will ever be great. With just how everything's being handled. I mean, it's just... It's just poor. Oh, low stamina. Oh, well. I'm too busy racing my truck, so... Hang on. But I don't think these are even the worst missions yet, because I still don't think they've changed those missions. I think it's, uh... I forgot what the other missions are, but it's later in the... Probably in the next few missions. With something else where you're having, like, five minutes or some crap to get to a delivery point. Yeah, get out of the way. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what the original developers of this game were thinking anyways. But obviously, Sadesco wasn't doing much to stop them from making stupid decisions anyways, so... I mean, that's so... I guess if you go fast enough, the game starts just glitching out a little bit. I don't know. Who really knows anymore with this game? All I do know is I could have spent $30 on a more polished and more cared for game is all I know. I mean, there's just sound glitches everywhere now. <laughs> Maybe their one update that they've put out in three months is... Oh, no. So sad. My poor racing truck. I really love this camera angle, by the way. Really good. 
Oh, whoops. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, crap. It's alright, we still have 7 minutes and 10 seconds to get to the objective. Hey, level 2. Great. You know, I just, I don't know what emotion to say. I, I feel like it's just more disappointment than anything. You know, it's just... I don't even know. Your truck is severely damaged. But look at that, still hitting 120 kilometers per hour. Why even have a damage system in this? <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Unbelievable. It's just, there's... It's such a bare-bones game. It really is. And I just hate the fact that Sodesco was so scummy and pushing this game to some other developer after release, and then they have to put up with all of this garbage that the original developer made. I mean, this is such a trashy game. It really is. It's just so obnoxious. And if you still haven't bought this game, just don't. You really don't need to have this. You're not missing out on anything. Oh, here we go. No, I don't even care. Just end this crap. Oh, goodness. But anyways, so, yeah, just as I had expected, this game hasn't changed <laughs> whatsoever. Uh, it's just... Absolutely saddening. Annoying I spent 30 bucks on it. And, you know, it's just... It's not a great game. And, honestly, at this point, I don't think it will ever become a good game. Because at this point, it's too far into its thing. There's a lot of new games that have already come out in this three-month span that people have gone to, like me. And then, once an update finally comes out, we'll be even further into the development of this game with more games that have already come out that people are wanting to spend their time on and it's just I don't feel like this game's going anywhere I really don't and you can blame Sodesco for it the way they handled this the way that they weren't on top of the original studio it's like hey if you don't want to continue this project we're gonna find somebody else you know it's just they should have manned up a bit more took control over this project instead of just being like, oh, you know what, this game sucks, but let's just release it, and then after a week we'll announce that another developer's taking over the game, put all the pressure on them, who cares, and we'll move on. It's just, it's frustrating, so. I feel like this is going to be the last video you see of Truck Driver on this channel, and, you know, it's just, it's really disappointing. Boo on you, Sadesco. You could have had a very good hold on this genre of games on console and you completely killed any interest I have in this game it's just it's it's horrendous how bad it is and it's also horrendous the way you brought the game out so anyways good luck with your future endeavors I will happily uninstall this game and forget I spent $30 on it so good work so anyways I'm gonna leave it there and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya.